Hi everybody, today I have another Topic Tuesday video for you and today's topic is favorite collections of polishes that you own or collection that you would like to own. So like I've mentioned in a couple of videos, I only have two full collections of polishes where I bought the whole thing. One was the China Glaze My Little Pony, which I do enjoy quite a bit. And then the second one is the KB Shimmer Burstone Collection. So between those two, I definitely have to go with the KB Shimmer to be my favorite. The polishes are just a little more interesting. And then they're just really like what I love in polish. They're super sparkly. They jump off the nails. Um, they have um, like this flakies with like hollow and then the bases are tinted to match birthstones for the different months. That's what she was inspired by for this collection. And I just really love the collection. When I first decided to order the whole thing, I was kind of like, ugh, because it was the first collection I had ever done that for. And I was like, oh, do you really want to order all this polish? And then like swatch pictures started coming out and I was just like, okay, do it. Like bite the bullet, get the polish. And so when they all came in and I was like unboxing all these polishes, I was like, oh my gosh, like you really, this is a problem. But the polishes are amazing and I'm glad I decided to do it and I talked myself into it. I have not worn all of these. I have worn a lot of them and I do really love them. When they first came in, I was like, okay, I'm going to wear um, the birthstone for whatever month it is. And then that just never happened. Like, you know how that goes for me. I have stuff I'm dying to have and then just never end up getting on the nails. A couple of these polishes are probably some of my favorite polishes in my whole collection and definitely some of my favorites from KB Shimmer. I'm going to show you bottle shots. I wanted to swatch. I kind of ran out of time and then if you all follow me on Instagram, you know that I had two epic nail breaks last night. I was so upset. I tapped my nail on countertop and like the two nails just snapped off and I was just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that just happened. I was due for a break. Um, I get breaks once my nails get to a certain point. So I knew it was bound to happen, but I was still like very sad when it did. So I have some little nubs going on. Um, I prefer my nails long and when they're like short and like this, I'm not big into swatching. So... I just kind of wasn't in the mood. I'm pretty bummed out about the break still. Um, if you're wondering what I have on my nails, um, I posted it on Instagram. It's a Blackheart Beauty Iridescent Polish. I don't remember the name, but check out my Instagram. It's a really pretty polish. So I'm going to start by showing you January's polish, which is Garnet. And this is kind of like a... Is this the right one? Yeah. This is kind of like a brick red color. There's a good shot of it there. Um, and then like I say, it has that like silver flakiness that gives it some sparkle and then it has a hologram. I wore this, I want to say a couple of months ago and you guys, I loved it. It's just very vampy, but then it has that touch of sparkle, which I just love. This is a gorgeous polish. Um, the next burst stone is for February and that's Amethyst. I feel like she got really close to the birthstone look here. Um, this looks like an amethyst on the nails. It's a lighter purple. It has that same um, flaky with hollow. I've worn this polish before and I loved it. Um, super pretty, very sparkly. The sparkle just like jumps off the nails. Another thing I was gonna mention about these is they aren't like a glitter to remove like where you're scrubbing and scrubbing. Um, I hate doing it. I wear glitter anyway because I love it, but I, the removal is rough. So these are not like that. They come off fairly easily with um, pure acetone. The only thing is like if you're going to do a back to back or you're going to like swatch these, the flakies kind of want to stick around your cuticles and then you kind of have to wash and scrub to get those off. But the polishes are amazing. It's worth it. I don't mind that. So, and then for March, that birthstone is going to be Aquamarine. I really feel like, again, that she got super close to her Aquamarine inspiration here. Um, I have worn this polish. I did enjoy it. It's kind of like a very, very light blue. And then it has all that sparkle and shimmer and hollow and just ugh, another gorgeous polish. April is going to be a diamond. That's the birthstone for April. 
So this polish, you guys, is probably my favorite KB shimmer that I own. It's like super versatile in my opinion. I love it as an accent nail. What I'll usually do is like put it on my ring finger and thumb. And then um, just whatever polish you have, it just really like elevates it with that accent nail. And then as a mani by itself, oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. It's just like total blinged out on the nails. Um... I love bling, like I love diamonds, I love jewelry, I just, I love all that and this just does that for me on the nails and I love it. Um, like I say, one of my favorite KB Shimmer polishes. If you don't have any of the birthstone collections and you're thinking of getting a few, pick this up. Um, like for New Year's Eve or like a bachelorette party or just every day is what I think. But um, like this polish is just like sparkle and hollow and just oh it's amazing i cannot say enough how much i love this polish amazing 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 you need it the next birthstone is for may and that's going to be an emerald look at this green you guys oh my goodness if you are a green lover you need this polish um the base on this is darker than most of the other ones this definitely looks like an emerald in my opinion um this polish looks super super pretty i have not worn it as a full mani i did put it on a couple of nails i'll probably end up wearing this um sometime in the untried march polishes that i'm trying to do um this polish is gorgeous you guys like i say if you're a green lover pick it up next one is going to be for june and that polish is going to be black pearl you guys this is another super gorgeous one um, it's not a true black, it's more like a charcoal gray, and it has all of that just amazing shimmer. It really pops the shimmer does off that darker base, and then the hollow, um, this polish was amazing. I loved the way it looked on my nails. All of these polishes are pretty much, they're not fully opaque in two coats, but they're so sparkly that you like cannot really tell that they're not fully opaque, which I do like. So I just do two coats, and then I put my top coat and I just let the sparkle kind of cover the fact that it's not fully opaque. Like you will not notice unless you're like really, you know, up close on the nail. So gorgeous, gorgeous polish. Um, the next burst stone is going to be July, which is a ruby. This polish is gorgeous. I wore this a couple of Christmases ago and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's not a true red in my opinion, in my opinion, it's kind of a pinky red. I think you can see that there. There's a good shot. Um, this is a gorgeous polish. I enjoyed it for Christmas. I just wore all of the nails with this polish and it was like super festive, very fun, very, very pretty. Next polish is going to be for August and that's going to be a peridot. I really feel like this looks like a peridot, you guys, when you put it on the nail. Um, I've worn this before. It's like a lighter green. It has all, all of that flaky and hollow. This polish is super pretty. Another one, um, if you're a green lover, I would definitely pick this up. Um, it's just gorgeous. Then the next one is for September, and that's going to be Sapphire. This polish, you guys, is gorgeous um i have worn this before it's like a darker navy blue base let me see if i can get a good shot there you go so it's like a darker navy blue base it has all of that shimmer and hollow and like the shimmer and hollow just pops off this dark pops off the dark base and if you were like a dark blue lover navy blue lover you need this polish this is probably my second favorite of the collection just because of how the sparkle just stands out against this dark one gorgeous polish then october this is my birthstone this is pink tourmaline i've worn this polish a few times it's a really um gorgeous pink it has all the shimmer and hollow this kind of reminds me of starry eyed for dear daniel i think i talked about that in one of my other videos starry eyed for dear daniel is a brighter pink than this um but this is more sparkly so love this polish um if you're a pink lover this is another one i would suggest i'm gonna suggest the whole collection um i notice i keep saying that get it pick it up get it um i love this collection you guys the next one is going to be november and that is going to be a citrine another one i really feel like she got the look of a citrine here 
it's kind of like a yellow goldish base and then all that shimmer this is another polish I think is very versatile I love this as an accent nail when I wear warmer toned polishes I've worn this with like army greens and then like browns and I just think it really adds a touch of sparkle to some stuff that can be a little bit dull sometimes um I'm more of a sparkle person so if you can add some sparkle or glitter like I enjoy that and um, this polish as a full manicure is also very pretty so I would also suggest this one and then the last first stone is going to be blue topaz for December you guys this is another favorite um it's kind of like a turquoise blue base and then it has all the shimmer and hollow I wore this I want to say in the spring last year and oh my goodness I did a full manicure with it and I just was in love the sparkle the hollow I mean if you guys have not tried any of these I'm just gonna say it again you have to try them and then this is not part of the birthstone collection but um it has the same finish and this is probably like diamond is my number one kb shimmer this is my number two kb shimmer this is called one night sand I got it on a kb shimmer sale so hopefully it's still available because you guys it's just oh it's like a rose gold or like copper mix um, it's kind of warm toned. I love this as an accent nail with light greens, browns, um, any kind of warm colored polish. This is like the perfect accent nail. And then as a full manicure, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so sparkly, but then it's like kind of subtle because it's a little bit of a neutral tone. Um, amazing. So like I say, diamond number one, this one number two, sapphire number three. Those are like my top three kb shimmers in order get a birthstone finish polish you guys will not be disappointed trust me they are amazing and then um full collections i would like to own i probably sound like a broken record but i am super excited for opi grease um i told you guys in another video i pre-ordered that already i'm getting the display for it i cannot wait oh and then um i found another collection i want just today so Swatching Sue 74 on Instagram posted her Topic Tuesday collections. She also had the My Little Pony full collection, so we're collection twins there. And then um, she posted a polish that was from the Speckled collection from Cirque. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know how I missed this and did not at least get a few of them. It kind of looks like those Easter candies that are like an egg and then they're like pastel, but they have those like black specks on them she posted one on her instagram today i think it was called mint chip it looks like mint chocolate chip ice cream oh my gosh i am like i want to find them so i know she told me that there is a white one uh, still up on the cert collection and i think that it is part of the core collection now so i'm probably gonna look at ordering that one and then um see if i can find some of the other ones like on a d stash or something because or something similar to that look because it's so so cute like i would love to wear that for spring and easter so those are the two collections that are kind of catching my attention right now and then um i'm sure there'll be more and i'm sure more are gonna come up the more I watch all these videos and look at people's Instagrams, you guys have some amazing polished taste. Someone else had like from the chic, chic polish, super chic polish. Um, they had like a full house collection. Those polishes looked amazing. So you know how it goes, guys. Like so much polish and then just like not enough money. So <laughs> I, oh, I have another announcement to make. Sorry. So I got over 300 subscribers on Instagram, 300 followers, and then I'm close to 200 subscribers here on YouTube. So I want to do a giveaway. I'm trying to think what's going to be a good giveaway. I haven't decided yet. So when I do finally decide, I will make an announcement here when I get to 200 followers. And then I will also put the announcement on Instagram. You guys have been just super sweet to me and I appreciate it so much. Like all my feedback has been positive and I get a lot of positive comments. And you guys like just have made me feel super, super welcome on YouTube. You have no idea how much I appreciate it that you all take your time to watch my videos. So I want to do something nice for you guys and do a giveaway. So if anybody has any giveaway ideas, um, give me some ideas down below. And then I'd also like to know what full collections you love or what full collections you want to get. 
So if you like the video, make sure to click the like button below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I hope you all had a great day and I just want to say thank you so much for taking time to watch and just being super sweet the way that you all are and have a good night.